This customer's getting fed up, and so am I. My son keeps coming in while I'm trying to do a voiceover. This customer's getting fed up. Water damage. <laughs> right, he's gone now. As you can see, the walls are being affected by damp, and the cause is suspected to be a leak. The customer's already had someone out to have a look, and you'll never guess what they believe the cause is. So if we take a step through this door, go outside, they reckon that water's getting in here, so they filled it with expanding foam. I think we should find the actual cause. So let's get it. First of all, we'll go check the meter. Take a look down here. And if you look at the middle dial, it's spinning a little bit. So we're looking for something very small. It's just been going on for a long time. So if we go inside and isolate the feed to the hot water, the meter stopped. So I now know that there's a leak on the hot water pipe. So I'm gonna make sure that's all turned off upstairs in the bathroom. Now I can start testing. Teleportation. And if we go downstairs, I got all the evidence in this box in. The pipe work leads to the bathroom upstairs. There's an old school fruit shoot. You can hear the leak. If you listen carefully, the leak's down here. Well, so now we've got to expose the area. Just gonna cut the board out. There we go, nice and simple. That's the hot pipe there, right next to the water main. So the hot pipe comes from the boiler and then goes upstairs to feed the bathroom. All running under the floor. And I believe that to be the main flow and return for the heating. You see how soft this screed is? You tell the leak's been going on for a while. It's soaking wet down here. Oh, I'll poke through to somewhere. Don't need a drill or a hammer for this one. Just have a little poke around. All that poking around has made me hungry. Customer's giving me a muffin. Nom, 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 nom. And a Fanta fruit twist breath. Anyway, back to the leak. Looks like this Ben's got a rib cage. The leak's just on the back. The lovely bubblers, darling. In contact with the concrete by the look of it. Because it's a hot pipe, it's been contracting and expanding and rubbing against the concrete. And there's the leak. It literally looks like someone's just been rubbing it on the floor. So now I need to carry out a repair. I broke out the concrete, so the pipe's not in contact anymore. Now I just need to protect that after we can confirm there's no more leaks. Wish there wasn't, everything held pressure. So now I've got all the water back on and clean the area up, or just break a tile. Put this board back. There we go, bit of paint. Wouldn't even know I was there. Apart from the big cut line in the wood, yeah? And for peace of mind, we're gonna go check the water meter, make sure that's not moving anymore. Just slap the lid off. And we have no movement. Happy days. Now the customer can get their dehumidifiers in and start rectifying all the damage the water leaks caused. Jobs are good in. Unfortunately for this customer, this is a brand new pool. It was only opened up in May and there's a leak. It's dropping about an inch or two every week and nobody knows how the water's escaping. So let's get it. So first of all, we're gonna test these skimmers. Let's get the pots out. There's one of them. There's only two on this pool. There's three returns, and then two low-level suctions. Take a look at this artwork around the pool as well. I've never seen anything like it. I think it looks really good. One love. Let's start testing the pipe work. Go around to the filtration shed. Open this door. Door. What's the duck doing? Where's the filtration off? He's already set up a pressure test, fair enough. Get things moving. This duck don't mess about. Right, so the pipe work must run up there rather than under the building. And first test, first pressure drop. It's very small. There's definitely a leak on it. And while hunting around for the leak, I noticed yeah, this water's definitely. trickling down the wall, coming from around these four inch waste pipes. Apparently these pipes run under the pool. Yep, you heard that right, under the pool. Apparently it drains off any groundwater at the back of the property. Okay. So the skimmer leak, we located the leak on the pipe work around this pot, as you can hear. We can confirm there's a leak around this area. That's not the only problem I noticed around the pool. If we come over here to this condensed pipe, basically this comes from the boiler and it drops acidic water onto the floor here and it will slowly eat away at this gas main. So that's not correct. Correct way is to run this into that drain there. The customer will be having words with the plumber. We've still got some more investigating to do, but surely that's the only leak. Give the magic eight ball a rub. Is that the only leak? Great, so there's another leak somewhere. And it stems from above the skimmer pot. As you can see here, in the pool, 
there's a crack which goes down towards the light. So it starts there, goes down the grout line, then jumps over two grout lines, keeps going down towards the light. And if we get some dye in there, you can see it getting pulled in. Ready? There we go. And that's all the way down the crack. And the customer will show me an opposite face to these. They're not happy. But the pool contractor is going to come back, rectify all the issues. We're going to submit our report. But for now, let's get this all back. Okay, that's just the cover. There we go. That's all of it. I must admit, I really like these enclosures. It means you can use it all year round. The next pool, you can use it all year round because it's indoor. It's not losing any water. The problem is the pumps won't prime properly. As you can see here, it's just drawing in air. There's a lot of it too. A basket should be full of water. So let's get it. Right, so these are the two filters. There's a lot of pipe work in here. Well, someone's kindly put arrows on the pipe. So now we know which way the flow is. But you already know that, Matt, don't you? Right, so the pipes go out that back wall. So let's just jump through this window. Hop over these pipes. Mario! So if we take a look down here, there's some boxing coming out of the wall. That's where the pipes are. Teleportation! Duck, what are you doing down here? Whack, whack. A funny smell, you say? So we took apart the boxing and we found a lot of drop-ins down here. And it stinks of rats. Me and my colleague did think about bravely running away. Take it away, Danny boy. <laughs> Beautiful voice. As you can see, the rats have started to eat through the insulation. There's droppings everywhere. There we go. Oh my god. So this is the little leak that we found outside. Tighten it up. There we go. That's another happy... No, I'm joking. So we cut it out. Put two joiners in and a piece of pipe. But that wasn't it. But before we find the next leak, I've got my coffee. And look at this baguette. Customers do treat us right. Look at that beauty. Get that down me. Nom, 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 nom. That's really nice. Give me a sec, let me just finish it. Nom, nom. Now this is the old filtration room. They've left some pipe work in here. And that is going to be the root cause to the pump not being able to prime. Can't utilise that nut. I beg your pardon, what was that about can't nut? Can't utilise that nut. No, we can't utilise a nut. So we're going to have to put a new piece on there. So we cut it out. There's a the repair. And all the pipe work then held pressure. Now we can get the pool up and running again. Look at that pump. Not a bubble in sight. Hang on a second, where'd that drip come from? It's glued fit in. Customer already knows about that. There's some small jobs that the customer already knows about, and they're going to carry out them jobs over the next few days. And that's another happy customer. Not a bubble in sight. You can actually hear this leak. It sounds like it's up in that corner. Yeah, well, that's the echo, you donut. Previously, there was a leak under this patch about 10 months ago. The customer had it repaired. If we come under the kitchen sink, we isolate the stopcock. Stop what? It stops the leak. So let's get it. I should better isolate that water and we'll start pressure testing. So the duck is pretty sure that it's there. Aren't you, duck? Right, right. Well, so we only need to put a little bit of pressure in. And we isolate it and it drops like a stone. So let's go back over to the area. We need to start exposing. See what this leak is on. There we go. Well, let's put some pressure through. You can hear it instantly. Some plastic pipe work down there. That looks like the repair. Sounds like it's on this side. Before we cut it out, I'll have a little bit of coffee. Yeah, I think we've already found the location, duck. No need to put bubbles on it. Let me turn that off now. Looks like you're having a phone party. Yeah, okay, less of that. Doesn't look like there's a leak on this side. Just where the duck is. Yeah, right, enough of that. All right, happy b****. Clean yourself up. Right, so I'm going to solder the elbow out of position. Makes my life easier. Now I'm going to solder both ends up. Oh my god, you're so close to that copper pipe. It doesn't matter. I prefer solder over plastic fitting, especially in the floor. And yes, I will protect it after I've made sure that there's no more leaks. So we solder that piece up. Carry our pressure test. And then I found that there was a big leak on one of my soldered fittings. But it wasn't my solder. Oh, are you sure about that? Your solder's all shut up. It's actually a pinhole, well, a, a nail size hole in the pipe. 
It's on the underside of the original pipe work. How did you not spot that, Matt? I don't know. I don't know. We all make mistakes. And this is why we always retest. Put a new piece in. Solder that up with my Wi-Fi gas bottle. What a mess. Clean that all up. There we go. Push that all into the bag. Put all the tools over there. Need to get rid of that. Now I know that's all holding pressure. We can flush the water out of the tap. Jobs are good in. That's another... Teleportation! Can't forget to do this. Shut these cupboard doors. Jobs are good in. If you have a leak, let's get it.